Well, good morning, Highbury folk, and all those who are joining in from the Ertz and Perts, all those who um, are part of Highbury in a virtual way. I want to give a special uh, shout out to the young people of Highbury who are connecting on social media. It's been, been fantastic to see the way that uh, you guys have been caring for each other. You know who you are. Someone gave me a salute, virtually. And that's never happened to me in real life. So I'm pretty impressed, thanks. Also, uh, they've been putting their minds to some pretty hard problems. Um, there was a maths problem that was posed which I couldn't understand, never mind solve, and someone did it within minutes. You know who you are. Well done, fantastic. Uh, you're a genius. So we begin this day and life continues to be very different for all of us. I was up for my daily exercise this morning and out in uh, the park keeping my physical distance, but not my social distance. So it was great to be further away from folk, but to still wave and say hello and how do you do? And to notice that spring is still happening. It's beautiful out there. One of the things I noticed was not only the beauty, but uh, that the sky is very clear. Sometimes there's uh, a yellow haze uh, that settles over Cheltenham, but Today is beautiful. The world's getting a little bit of a rest, I think, from all the cars and uh, the pollution. So maybe there's an upside to all of this. Maybe it's a pointer to the way forward. But the reality is, is that things are still pretty tough. Most of us feel strange. Um, we're working from home. Uh, we're uh, trying to do school from home. We're trying to deal with our children who are a bit uh, hyper and don't really want to be homeschooled by their parents. It's tough. And I don't know about you, but I've been finding it a little bit hard to, to settle down to prayer and just to be still and to know that God is. I think it's okay. I was reading both from Jeremiah and John today, and I'm going to begin with John, because Jesus, he says, Now my soul is in turmoil, and what am I to say? Father, save me from this hour? No. It was for this that I came to this hour. Father, glorify your name. A lot of us want to be saved from this hour from the tough stuff. Of course, Jesus was talking about his mission into the world um, to live life and to get to the place of going to the cross. Um, his enemies were already out to get him. They had tried to arrest him a couple of times and he managed to slip uh, the handcuffs, as it were. And Jesus is headed for the cross. And in going to the cross, He's in, his soul is in turmoil. Um, he's, he's a human being uh, who is doing his father's will. Um, and though he is the son of God, he still struggles with the reality and the fear. And yet he remains faithful. He knows that this is his mission. I wonder what we're being called to now in our own lives. In the Jeremiah reading, it says, Woe betide him who builds his palace on unfairness and completes its roof chambers with injustice, compelling his countrymen to work without payment, giving them no wage for their labour. Probably not all of us, but our society as a whole, Western society particularly, have been content for the injustices to simply be part of our society. We haven't really known what to do and how to change it. And... The situation that we find ourselves in now has completely arrested the way things are and we're suddenly faced with the real injustices that are there and God has no place for injustice. His heart is with those who are poor and oppressed and his dream that he speaks for the Lord, the word of the Lord. The days are coming, says the Lord, when I shall make 
a righteous branch spring from David's line, a king who will rule wisely, maintaining justice and right in the land. And of course, that is the hour that Jesus came for, to bring justice and righteousness, to bring forgiveness, wholeness and healing. And perhaps we're being called now beyond uh, the way things have always been, the gaping chasm between the wealthy and the poor, those who have and those who have not. We're being called to a different way of being. And though we're maintaining uh, physical distance, we are not keeping a social distance. We are, perhaps there's an opportunity for community. So shortage of blue rolls, no eggs on the shelves, and yet wonderful things happening. Uh, a neighbor uh, left a box, a packet of seeds uh, in the porch uh, and then texted and said, see what's in your porch. Uh, they uh, had seen that my son and I were turning over the garden yesterday. It's all ready uh, to be planted, perhaps not just yet, but, but in the next few weeks. And so there's going to be a planting and a harvest and it's going to be wonderful. And there was real kindness in that. And the people who know that we've had a shortage of eggs, I've had lots of people reaching out. Uh, and so there is a lot of goodness and kindness there. In my prayers this morning, the song Yellow Taxi um, came to mind. Joni, uh, Joni Mitchell, uh, she's a Canadian singer. Most of many of you will know who she is. Uh, she was born and raised in Saskatoon, uh, near to my hometown. And the words of one of her songs, Don't it always seem to go that you don't know what you've got till it's gone? They paved paradise and put up a parking lot. Our world has been facing a crisis for some time, an environmental crisis, an economic crisis. Uh, challenge. We've known that things couldn't just always carry on as usual. And now um, this virus is forcing us to pause for a moment and to think differently about the way that we are. So let's come to prayer and pray that that God would help us to face this hour. Let's pray. Dear God, we thank you that you are with us, Jesus, that you, you faced your hour, though your soul was in turmoil, that you didn't turn away from your mission, what had to be done. And we are all being faced with an hour, our own hour. And we're not sure how we're going to meet it. We're not sure what we're going to do. We can't see the end of it. And the fear does well up inside of us. Lord Jesus, come to us and offer us your peace. Spirit of God, fill us with courage and strength to be able to put one foot in front of the other, to be able to find your grace and to discover your love in this time, in this place. And so we gather together, praying the prayer that Jesus taught us, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and evermore. Amen.